TikTok's net worth is at least $75 billion and going up to $100 billion with its parent company worth over $300 billion led by one man, CEO Xu Chu. The speed at which TikTok rose to prominence was about as quick as any company could have hoped. It evolved throughout 2021 from what many thought to be a video app for kids and teenagers to something utilized by individuals of all ages. Since TikTok has something for everyone, many people benefit from the app's widespread entertainment, as you might expect. We take a look into the CEO of TikTok Xu Zaichu, along with information on his background, together with TikTok growth, algorithm and China's data policies raising an alarm over TikTok control, which is most interesting. However, we shall get to that shortly. Xu Zaichu was born in Singapore on the 1st of January 1983. He is the CEO of social networking company TikTok and the CFO of its parent company. ByteDance which is worth over $300 billion. Chu attended University College London, where he earned his economics bachelor's degree in 2006. While a student there Chu interned for a startup then that was called Facebook. Facebook went public in mid-2012, now we all know it. Chu was always destined to go on to big things. After graduating from UCL in 2006, he attended Harvard Business School and graduated in 2010 with a Master's of Business Administration. Chu embarked on his career as he worked as an investment banker for two years at the company that ruled the world, Goldman Sachs. During this period he got a grand opportunity to work for an investment firm DST, founded by Russian IT billionaire Yuri Milner for five years. It was during his time there in 2013 that he led a team that became early investors in Bike Dance. In 2015, he was appointed CFO of the Chinese giant smartphone company Xiaomi that rivals Apple. Xu assisted in securing significant funding and guided the business through its 2018 public listing, which turned out to be one of the biggest tech IPOs in American history. Later left the position in April 2020, although he continued to serve as the company's president of international business until March 2021, when he completely cut ties with it. Xu left Xiaomi and became the first individual to hold the position of chief financial officer of ByteDance, a technology MNC, TikTok's parent company with headquarters in Beijing. Although, this is where it all begun of Chu's an amazing TikTok story. About 10 years ago, Chu was in China and met with two young entrepreneurs. Among the two young engineers was Zhang Yiming the founder and CEO of ByteDance, the great mind behind TikTok. The engineers were starting a company having recognized an opportunity to build a good product that people wanted. They started building a product and Chu had a chance to invest in it. This paved way on Chu TikTok's success. In May 2021 at the same time as Vanessa Pappas was appointed COO, he simultaneously assumed the role of CEO of TikTok. Chu, according to ByteDance CEO and founder Zhang Yiming, brings substantial understanding of the firm and industry, having headed a team that was among their initial investors, and having worked in the technology sector for a decade. Kevin Mayer, Chu's predecessor, had left Walt Disney in May 2020 to join ByteDance but departed after three months due to criticism from politicians regarding security issues. Some officials were worried that the Chinese Communist Party may have access to other countries' user information. Is it true the China Communist Party harnessed TikTok users' data? Looming news is that there have been a consensus regarding TikTok and has been considered to be a threat that this belief of TikTok being ultimately controlled by the Chinese and therefore the Chinese government. Also it was reported that TikTok quietly updated its privacy policy to allow the app to collect users' biometric data. Chu claims they take these matters seriously have researched them, and have been working with other nations such as the US by cooperating with CFIUS and TikTok engineers over the past couple of years to try and solve what they believe is a highly solvable problem. I think, first of all, that we take all these concerns very seriously. We have been studying them, and for the last couple of years, we've been working with CFIUS and uh, no, with our engineers to try and solve what we think is a very solvable, solvable problem. Xu has the tough job of navigating the complex political scene of both China and the US, however he is proving to tackle the task quite well. TikTok continues to thrive under him, and that is promising. We bring you more of tech and butter videos.